How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Skyrim video. This is a more laid back, chill video. Kind of unscripted, unthought out. But I wanted to just talk about this new way of playing Skyrim that I've never done before that I wanted to share with you because I, I found it to be incredibly fun. And that is the Skyrim build that I'm going to be calling the Psychopath. And so I'm sure a lot of you, when you first played Skyrim, one of the first things you decided to do for fun was to quick save, go into a city, and just kill everybody, and then when you die, you just load the quick save. You know, just a little fun thing to do. Just fucking kill everybody. Now, what I wanted what I wanted to do with my build was I wanted to do that, but do it seriously. So that's what the psychopath build is. It's not killing everybody, but it's killing citizens. Just killing citizens. Now, I did kind of try to go with a more, like, raw play kind of way of going about it. So I wasn't just like, you know, pick a random guy and kill him. But let me tell you what I did. I went to Riverwood. I just completed Hogan Keep and I went to Riverwood and I was talking to all the NPCs and I eventually talked to Hod. And now Hod, he, uh, I, I was a, I think I was a high elf. And he said, hey, a new visitor to Riverwood. A new, no, no, no. He said a new face in Riverwood. And, and an, an ugly one at that. And I was like, okay, that's a pretty shitty thing to say. I kept talking to him and he was telling me about it. He had a wife and he had a kid and he had a nice house. And then he was telling me about how he wants to touch J Camilla's jugs. And I was like, wait a minute. This guy is a kind of a scumbag. He, he wants to... He's, he's been checking out Camilla, even though he's married to Gerdor. And he called me ugly. And he talked about, he's bragging about his job at the mill, bragging about his nice house and his beautiful wife and his son. And I was like, you know what? I'm killing this guy and I'm gonna get away with it. And so what I did is I waited for night to come and I was about to break into his house when I saw his dog, Stump, kind of chilling outside of his house. And now I thought, okay, if I break into his house and kill him, that dog is going to stop me from breaking in, or it's going to alert him. Now, actually, it, it wouldn't. That's not the way Skyrim works. But from the raw play, guys, the raw play, I was like, okay, he's got a guard dog. So I took out my massive psychopath battle axe <laughs> from my back pocket. And I was, I was dressed up like a citizen. I was really raw playing. I was dressed up like in citizen clothing. I had like hide boots and hide bracers. But I had like a hood and like a belted tunic on. So I was looking like a pretty average citizen. And I took this fucking battle axe. Which is like, the battle axe is like the funniest murder weapon. Like a dagger makes sense. A dagger is nice and quick. It's like, you know, just kill him and get it over with. Easy peasy. But a battle axe, if you're using a battle axe to kill innocent people, you enjoy it. You enjoy it deeply. So yeah, battle axe is badass. I took my battle axe. I snuck up behind Stump, and I just plunged it through straight into his fucking back, and he died instantly. And of course I got a bounty, so I ran away. It was like, it was nighttime, but I ran away. And then the, the next day, I realized, oh wait a minute, nobody saw me kill the dog. The reason why I have a bounty is probably because the chicken and the cow in the pen saw me. So the next night, I came back and I killed... <laughs> I killed the chicken and the cow. Now, could you imagine the psychological warfare you're doing to this guy? He has no idea what's happening. One day his dog dies, and then the, the next die, the, the next die. What am I talking about? The next day his chicken and his cow die, and the bodies mysteriously disappear too. Like I was dragging the bodies behind the uh, gate so we couldn't fucking find them. <laughs> Uh, that's fucking hilarious. And then the next day, I was like, okay, this is actually funny. I like the psychological warfare I'm doing to him. Instead of killing him next, I'm gonna kill his wife. I'm gonna kill a girder. So I, I basically spent like two in-game days following her around, getting to know her schedule, getting to know where she likes to sit and where she likes to be alone, you know, what jobs she does. And around uh, 10 p.m., she was chopping wood at the chopping block by the mill and I saw Alvor go into the into the inn and I saw pretty much nobody around so I snuck up behind her with my psychopath battle axe and I plunged that shit right into the back of her head and she screamed and she tried to run away but I just I too shot her she died I took all of her clothes I took all of her money I took everything in her inventory and I threw her body in the river and her body naturally got stuck on one of the rocks and so then I was like okay now there's not really much left to do like I can't kill his kid however getting away with murder was easy enough on just Gerda because she was alone right so I, I didn't get a bounty for it. But if I was going to sneak into Hod's house at night and kill him, the kid would see. 
and I would get a $1,000 bounty, and I'd be pretty much fucked. So I realized, okay, I gotta sneak in in the daytime when he's alone in his house, and his son Fridnar is just running around playing uh, with Dorothy. So at daytime, it came to noon, and I, I, I hadn't slept all night. My, I was playing survival mode, so I was starving and I was sleep deprived, but I snuck into his house, I put on my armor, I took out my psychopath battle axe, and I just killed him. I took everything he had on him, and I took everything of any value out of his house. And then as soon as I left, I saw Fradnar, and, and I looked at him, and he went, Oh, what am I gonna do? My parents, they recently died. And I, I, did feel, I did feel a bit bad for the poor kid. You know, his parents just died, and his dog, and his chicken, and his cow. And I took everything from his house. So he's pretty much an orphan, and he has nothing, and nobody, except Dorothy, I guess. So yeah, that's basically the, the build I went for. That's the one story. I'm not going to tell you about every kill I did, but getting away with murder in Skyrim is really fun, because it's actually quite difficult to isolate an NPC, kill him successfully, and um, not get a bounty. It's very fun. It's actually really hard to do it in big cities. In, in Riverwood, it's easy enough because there's not many people. And, you know, a lot of the people, you know, like to isolate themselves anyways. But if you go to, like, Windhelm, you know, the only people you can really kill easily is the beggars. And even that, it's pretty difficult because the place is teeming with guardsmen who are going to see you do it. So it, it, the challenge, the challenge is to go to a big city and kill somebody, maybe even a few people. It's really easy in a, in a village, but in a city, that's the challenge, baby. But anyways, that's kind of just what I wanted to make this video about. I thought it was really, really fun just going around killing people, but actually doing it, like, skillfully and intelligently. And it's also really fun because I, was, I like playing Skyrim now in a more laid-back way where I don't care about leveling up, I don't care about getting rich. Like, I played a Thief playthrough not too long ago, and that character only got to level 10 after like 40 hours of playing because I just didn't level up at all because I was just stealing and that was that was literally I just stole that was all I did and in this playthrough it's pretty similar I played for about a few hours but I only got to I think I got to about level 12 actually I got decently well equipped but yeah playing Skyrim where you don't care about getting money you don't care about leveling up you're just doing stupid shit for the sake for the sake of doing it it's incredibly fun and it's incredibly rewarding and I highly recommend you guys give this playthrough a check out especially if you get yourself the Executioner's Axe. That is a really, really badass axe to use to fucking execute your victims. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you all in a few days. Stay awesome as always, and uh, peace out.